Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you how to do a, um, a pour through a strainer. Yeah, I've got some, uh, some new strainers today. They're a really, really little one. And then a medium, and a larger one. I'm going to use the larger one. Uh, got a 12 by 16 canvas. I'm going to pour on. Okay, so first, though, you have to uh, put a base down. Okay, I'm going to use uh, white paint, and my medium is Elmer's glue and water. Um, a lot of people use different mediums. Uh, you know, they all work. So. It's, it's just your preference, whatever you like. And then the paints have uh, paint, of course. Um, and my medium, Elmer's glue and water. And they also have Floetrol, uh, which is a, uh, it's something to help bring out the cells, I guess. I'm not really sure what it is. But I'm, I'm new at this too, okay? So, so I've got my white paint here. And Elmer's glue and water. So I'm going to put you all down so you can see what I'm doing. I don't have my trusty cameraman here tonight. Okay, so cover your canvas with your paint. Like I said, this is a 12 by 16 canvas. Okay, so when you mix paint and water together, you get, uh, you're going to get bubbles. Now, they say you're supposed to uh, do it the night before, you know, and it, it'll be less bubbles. Uh, I apologize. I see that uh, you couldn't see very well there. They say that, that if you do it the night before, there's less bubbles. So, um, but I've never, I've never done it like that. So uh, I couldn't tell you really. Okay. So what I do, what well, what everyone does, uh, you take a butane torch, and it'll it'll get rid of the bubbles. And you just run it along your canvas. Don't want to stay in one place too long because it, it'll catch fire. Okay. okay. Let me get some more gloves on here. Okay. While I have the opportunity, um, you know, if, if you're liking this video, video, if if you learn something from it, or if you just enjoy watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button and that like button. Okay, here we go. Put this in the middle of the canvas right here. Okay. I'm going to start off with some pure orange. The name of the paint is pure orange. Okay, and like I said, this is paint. 
uh, Elmer's glue, water, and Floetrol. Okay, and and I've never used these uh, these kind of strainers before, so hey, we're going to learn together. Okay. All right, let's see what this does. This is eggplant. And this is island blue. Curious to see what's going on underneath there. This is midnight blue. This is purple iris. Blueberry frost, I'm sorry, blueberry frost. Starting to look like a hat. And we have Velvet Crush. Start back with the orange again. Sorry about that. I'm going to let that set a minute so it has time to, you know, go down through the strainer there a little bit. Slippery, folks. <laughs> Um, made a little cool design there in the middle. It kind of looks like a star there <laughs> from this angle. Okay, so let's let's spread this paint out. And and I can see right here that I've got paint. What what you want to do? Make sure of is that you have paint around your paint so your paint can flow is you know so what we do is make sure you've got a you know enough paint around your paint so that it'll, it'll spread really okay so let's see what this does Spread it out a little bit. I don't want to lose my design too much. I'm 
going to leave a little bit of the white of the canvas on here. Let, it, let a little bit of the white show. That blue down here. There we go, folks. Okay, now after you, you get done spreading your paint out a little bit, you want to make sure that there's no no bubbles in it. So. torch again and just run it run it through the paint. And with the flow troll, it's gonna bring out the heat brings out cells. Which with acrylic fluid art, that's what you want. You want those cells. I'm just getting little bitty cells today. <laughs> I've had some paintings where cells have taken over, <laughs> but today we're just getting little bitty cells. It's okay. It's still really pretty. So, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel, please. Uh, give me a like and come back and see me. I'll be doing some more painting. Thanks.